Aloha Sunday! It's actually a pretty lazy Sunday morning. The plumera trees in my garden are blooming. It smells really fragrant, you know? Anyway, I'm back with my what I eat in a day video. Um, I'm going to explore a coconut flour bread for breakfast. And from the reading of the recipe, it states that I should use a half a cup of coconut flour with six eggs. Oh no, that's because uh, coconut flour actually absorbs a lot of moisture. Okay, follow me along. a cup of olive oil. It's quite a lot. Oh, tired. Tired. It's probably true that coconut flour does actually absorb quite a bit of uh, moisture. Okay, while waiting for my coconut flour bread to bake, let's take a look at my new TV cabinet and shoe cabinet. so good So my stomach feels like it needs something soft and fireish today and something a little bit sour and a little bit sweet. So a dragon fruit it is. And I chose the one that is red and not the one that is white. Mm, here's the dragon fruit. Be careful, it's really red. Mm. According to what I read, red dragon fruit has a lot of vitamin C, potassium, vitamin K, and fiber. Mm. For lunch, I'm going to make a vermicelli pork noodle soup. Here are the ingredients for the anchovy based soup. I've actually already made this soup during the weekend. So I'm going to put some of this bok choy into the boiling water to soften it. Oops. Okay, I'm putting this vermicelli into the boiling water. I'm going to put the marinated meatballs into the soup. and some of the pork slices that you can get from the Korean market. The sliced pork cooks really fast, so I'm going to bring them out first. Okay, it's pretty much done. I'm going to 
pour the soup into my vermicelli and add some of the vegetables in here I have my ready-made fried garlic in oil add some on top of it yeah okay don't forget we have to have some chili patty or bird's eye chili in soy sauce and some sri racha chili sauce oops yeah and some fu pei which my mom made ah time to eat i'm famished so how do you eat vermicelli noodle soup? So basically, I like to dip this in chili sauce. Um, have some noodles. Mm. Dip some of these pot sizes into chili sauce. Oops, you can't see my chili sauce. Mm, okay. Mm. And of course, we have my mom's delicious food pay. Dip in chili sauce again. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. For dinner, I'm going to do a kale salad. I really love kale. I was introduced to this when I was in Hawaii. Um, so kale is one of the most nutrient-dense food. Uh, it's like packed with antioxidants, loaded with vitamin C, vitamin K, and um, all sorts of benefits. I bought a lovely mango from the supermarket. So let's cut this up. And add some mangoes in. Alright, let's try my kale salad. eaten cooked well I think it's not bad if you actually add the sweet stuff inside like the mangoes and the cranberries and the crunchy uh, nuts what am I doing with the new cabinet okay you see below I custom made this for the ukulele and my violin and these are for my cookbooks my um, fun fun books my old piano books. Can you imagine I collected back this from my parents' house? My first piano book, John Thompson, book one. Oops. John Thompson, book two. Oh my god, this is the most favorite book ever. Piano book. I learned how to play for Alice from this book. Na 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 All these are here books when you get to grade 7, grade 8, Mozart, then you have to do the fugues, J is about fugues, Haydn, sonatas, of course I also have favorite musicals, Flower Drum Song, King and I, My most favorite Miss Saigon, Les Miserables, wow, next I need to get a grand piano to my house.